A very warm welcome to you all guys. Now over here at the Review Bros, you may or may not be aware, we normally do pre-workout reviews, but today we're delving into the stims in a slightly different way with our first energy drink review. And it's one that comes in the form of Monster Pacific Punch which actually here in the UK is one of the more rare flavours. You'll only generally come across it at the odd corner shop, the odd petrol or gas station. It is not as readily available as perhaps some of the other monster flavours are. So for that reason, I picked it up today, a pound and 39 pence for the can. And I thought, let's give it a proper honest review. Obviously, I'm gonna delve a little bit into the label on it and I'm gonna delve into my honest taste experience. So for those of you who have not yet used it or heard of this one, it's a combination of different flavours. It's got apple, orange, raspberry, cherry, guava, pineapple and passion fruit inside of it. So I'm actually a fan of all of those types of fruits. So I am hoping for the very best. Let's go. A little bit of fizz in there. I'm going to pour it into a glass and give you guys a transparency test. Oh, there is some carbonation there. Look at that. Medium carbonation from what I've seen in other energy drinks. Yeah. It smells very nice. Smell the uh, the guava there. The orange is the ones that are coming through to me the most. Um, I wouldn't say I necessarily smelt the apple in there, nor the cherry. It's definitely more more the guava and orange in my personal opinion. So I'm gonna give it an honest taste test now. As you guys may not know, it is a sugar one. So there is 55 grams of sugar in a can. But actually I prefer sugar uh, energy drinks over the sweetened ones. I, those sweetened ones give that stale like metallic taste to them. So a sugar one in my opinion is the better option. It's up to you guys whether you agree or not. Let's do it. That's good, that's sweet. Obviously there's none of that aftertaste of a, a sweetened uh, energy drink. I really like that. I'm trying to work out what flavors are coming through in the most. Passion fruit, guava, orange, you're at that combination. You're not really tasting the cherry there. Yeah, really nice though. I'm honestly gonna give it I'm gonna give it an eight and a half out of 10. It's not my favorite monster ever. Um, I'll delve into what one that is on another review. But yeah, really nice, eight and a half, very sweet. Definitely tastes that guava, the, the orange there. Passion fruit is behind it, really good. So uh, eight and a half out of 10, I really would enjoy to drink that whole can. Let's move into some of the label here. So we are looking at 55 grams of sugar. So that is high, 61% of your daily there. Only uh, 0 0.2 salt um, and 32 milligrams of caffeine per 100 mil. And this is a 500 mil can. So, um, you know, 160 there really, 160 milligrams, which is a bit less perhaps than some of your fitness orientated pre uh, energy drinks. Obviously the Bangs, the Rains, um, and some of the others, the C4s, they're hitting two to 300. So this is on the lower end of caffeine dosages. But yeah, I enjoy that one a lot, guys. I'd have no complaints drinking this one again. Really like the design there. You've got the sip, ship, the Eagles, the, the Merwoman, the, even the Shark on there. Really good flavor. So um, eight and a half it gets, in my personal opinion. I thank you all for watching along. If you've enjoyed this review, then please, please do give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and let me know in the comments below, because obviously this is our first energy drink review. Is there anything you were missing, or is there anything more that you want to see added onto future reviews of energy drinks? Should we keep doing them? Let us know, guys. Really appreciate you. And as always, stay steamed.